Okay, so what I'm doing for my um, for my scientific research class is that I'm logging invasive plants throughout the school in public areas, but you gotta start the school. And once you find one, you would log it, take a picture of it, and it sends data to an app on my phone that sends it back to a computer in, my cl in the class. And what we do with that data is we manipulate it and put it into a story map so that other people can see it. All right, so we're gonna try to find one right now. All right, so we have one right over here. Um, so whenever you find something that looks invasive, you would go open up a notebook that we made separately. So let me get that open. I got my notebook open and pretty much I found out that this plant right here is called a yellow star thistle. So what you gotta do is you open up the app and you take, you gotta, you gotta get the plant name. So we put it in, a little star. And then you get the condition. So as you can see, it's sort of yellowish between the start and the flower. It just probably just uh, germinated. So you would put flowering for the condition. And then you'd attach a picture. Usually it can be a picture, it can be a video, but it's usually preferred to be a picture. Okay. And once you got a picture, you you save, you review to make sure everything's good. And then, oh, I have a mistake over here, actually. Okay, and then you press OK. It updates with the, with the GPS and the satellites so that it makes sure that it's, it's connected to the ArcGIS, and which is the program that we use. And once it's ready, it shows up as a blue dot, uh, a red dot, sorry, as in the map. And once you have this data as a map, you can access it from either the computer or the app itself. So yeah, let's go try to find some more. Thank you.